its day off. Pepper, George and Susie Sheep have had a sleepover at Rebecca Rabbit's house. It's fun having carrots for breakfast, Mummy Rabbit. Yes, we always have carrots for breakfast. I could eat carrots all day, but I'd better go to work. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Mummy Rabbit, why don't you work? I do work, Susie. Who do you think looks after these two little bunnies? You do, Mummy. <laughs> and you can help me by tidying up your toys, please, before someone trips over them. That'll be my sister. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Auntie. I can't stop long. I've got lots of work to do today. I've got the supermarket checkout, the ice cream stall and the bus to drive. See you later then, sister. Bye, sister. Whoops! Wow! Miss Rabbit has tripped over one of Richard's toys. Oh, my ankle. I can still hop to work. No. Oh, uh, you oh, stay here and get better. But I've got so much work to do. I'll do your work for you. Which job is first? The supermarket. OK. Rebecca, look after your auntie. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has arrived at the supermarket. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is ill. I'll be doing her job today. Are you not Miss Rabbit? No, I'm her sister, Mummy Rabbit. Is this where I sit? Uh, yes. Have you ever worked a checkout before? No. How much is this? Oh, I don't know. I've got a voucher. Do you take book tokens? Can I pay with a card? Um... Susie Sheep is dressed up in her nurse's costume. Don't worry, I'm only a pretend nurse. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ah. Rebecca Rabbit's house. Who's speaking, please? It's Mummy Rabbit. Is everything OK? Yes. Good, because this job is going to take me all day. What about Miss Rabbit's other jobs? We'll need more help. <laughs> Uh, Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Pepper, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Ho, oh, oh, ho, I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Miss Rabbit is ill. Can you drive a bus? Today? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> Mummy Sheep's car has broken down. <laughs> Granddad Dog's breakdown service. <laughs> Can you rescue me, please? I'll be straight there. We would like to apologise for any inconvenience this may cause to your journey. Driving a bus is quite hard. Selling ice cream is quite hard. Running a supermarket checkout is quite hard. Uh, I'm feeling better. Can I get up now? No, you must lie very still. But please keep breathing. Are you feeling any better, Miss Rabbit? It's not easy doing all your jobs. It's not easy looking after your little bunnies. <laughs> you will be back to work tomorrow, won't you? Yes. And you'll be back at home, won't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
whistling. It is a lovely sunny morning and Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm reading the newspaper. You're making a funny sound. I'm whistling. Oh. Whistling is fun. You should try it. I don't know how to. It's easy. Just put your lips together and blow. <whistles> try making a smaller O shape. <laughs> oh, oh, like this. And then you can whistle a tune. Uh, I've got the wrong kind of mouth. Your mouth is fine. You just need to practice. It's impossible. It takes time to learn how to do important things, like riding a bicycle or playing the piano. <laughs> it took me years to learn how to wiggle my ears. Wow! <laughs> Mummy Pig is in the kitchen making cookies. What are you doing, Peppa? I'm learning to whistle. Oh, I see. <sighs> Mummy, can you whistle? I don't know. I've never tried. It takes a lot of practice. <sighs> oh, yes! Mummy Pig can whistle. You can whistle because you are old, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. <sighs> George is in the bedroom, playing with his toy rocket. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible, like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. <laughs> can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Peppa. Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. What's whistling, anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. <whistles> Hello, Peppa? The cookies are ready. Oh, goody, cookies. <coughs> They'll be hot. You should blow on them first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want a cookie, Peppa? No, thank you, Mummy. I think I might go outside and be on my own for a little bit. Can you whistle yet? It's no use, Daddy. I'm never going to whistle, ever. Have you been practising? Yes, lots, but it doesn't work. You need a little rest, Pepper. Here, have a cookie. It's hot. You should blow. Oh! What's that? It sounded like a whistle to me. <laughs> what a lovely tune. Pepper has learned how to whistle. <laughs> I can whistle.
Pig. Pepper and her family are watching sport on television. It's a long jump. It's a new world record. Mummy, what's a world record? It means you're best in the world at something. Then you are a champion and your name goes in a book. There are champions for running, jumping, swimming. I wish you were in the book, Daddy. I am in the book. No. Yes, Daddy Pig is champion puddle jumper. Wow. No one has beaten me yet. I don't think they ever will. The next event is the puddle jump. That was a very big splash. In fact, I think, yes, it's a new world record. Oh. Daddy, you're not the champion anymore. Everyone will be sad. Oh, oh. I'm sure they've got more important things to worry about, Pepper. Daddy Pig, you lost the world record. Everyone wants you to be champion again. It's important. Really? Yes! OK, I'll do it. Tomorrow! Hooray! But I'll have to train myself to jump in muddy puddles again. Everyone knows how to jump in muddy puddles, Daddy. Ah, but not everyone is a champion, Pepper. Daddy Pig is the master! Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? No, Pepper. I must be at one with the puddle. What? To jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. Do you need to do running? No. Do you need to do press-ups? No. I need to sleep and dream about puddles. <laughs> it is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots? To be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto, I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready? Steady? Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone! <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us! Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs>
Pepper and George are playing at Zoe Zebra's house. <laughs> Little Zuzu and Zaza are making a jungle with play clay. George has made a dinosaur out of play clay. Pepper and Zoe are having a doll's picnic. Hello, Mr. Monkey. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says yes. What's the magic word, Mr. Monkey? Oh, oh, oh. That means please. Oh, we haven't got a tea set. We could make a tea set out of play clay. Yes. George, can we use a play clay, please? No. Grrr. Zuzu, Zaza, we need to make a tea set for our tea party. No. You can help us make it. <laughs> I'll make the teapot and we'll make the cups. <laughs> there, now Monkey can have tea. Oh, this teapot is too soft. Real tea sets aren't soft. <laughs> My mummy makes real pots. She does pottery. Ooh. Mummy, can you help us make a tea set, please? With teacups and a teapot that we can put real water in. OK, come with me. This is where Mrs Zebra makes her pottery. Let's make this tea set. What's that? Clay. All pottery starts off like that. But it's soft, like play clay. We need it to be soft so we can shape it. But later, it won't be soft. Ooh! Mummy Zebra is making a little cup on the potter's wheel. There. One cup. Wow! <laughs> that looks easy! Would you like to try? Yes, please! <laughs> it's all slimy! <laughs> ah! It's all gone wrong! Making a cup on a potter's wheel is not easy. There is an easier way to make a cup. First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm made of clay. What shall I make today? I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> We wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit 
bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands. And I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. Yes. <laughs> dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. Oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Hooray! Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely bright colours. The tea set is finished. Now we can have our tea party. There's a cup for everyone. Oh, we forgot to make a teapot. I know. George's dinosaur can be the teapot. Yes. Let's fill it with water. <laughs> this is the best tea set in the world. Everybody knows that all the finest tea sets have a dinosaur in them. Teapot! <laughs> <laughs>
elephant's birthday. <laughs> Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Oh, look, someone's got a party invitation. <laughs> it must be for me. It says, to George Pig from Edmund Elephant. Please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Peppa? No, just George. Hmm. I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello. Oh, it's for you, Peppa. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. <laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Hello Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing. And when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! Still blinking. You're out. <laughs> You're moving, George. You're out. <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out. <laughs> so Zaza is the winner. Hooray! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, musical statues is over. Lovely. Now it's time for pass the parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! George, pass the parcel. Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> no, George, that's Zaza's medal. <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has one. <laughs> Mummy, pass. Parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. <laughs> this is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, oh yes. yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> <laughs> Goose, please. Juice, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy birthday, Edmund. <laughs> it is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes, it's not easy looking after little children. <sighs> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> <laughs>